I'm rock fishing straight after a massive swell. Hi, my name's Roger Osborne and in today's video I'm just having a mid-afternoon fish off the rocks straight after some, in Sydney apparently they had 20 foot waves, massive and it's always a very good time for snapper and really all mixed species so I'm going to just fish for about an hour or so. Make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. I've come down for a fish at my local headland. Like I said, the waves have been massive and the swell is abating. There's still a few decent sets coming in. I'm in a spot that's relatively safe, although I won't be standing right on the edge of the rocks because I'll be keeping my eye on the waves. And I'm actually casting onto a sand bottom, which is surrounded by reef. So that's a very good recipe for snapper and brim and all sorts of species. So I'm really interested after this big swell to see what I'm going to get this afternoon. I'm going to finish before dark because uh, I've got other things to do. But I'm going to use something I haven't done before, which I do off the beach. I'm actually going to use two different baits. Very often when I fish off the rocks, I just use one bait. But I'm going to do the old mixed grill thing, put two different baits on. And um, yeah, so let's see what happens in the next hour or so. So. The two baits I'm using are half pilchards and I've actually put a stinger on this so I'll have two hooks. So I've got my um, main hook in there then I'm going to pop this other hook in the top. It always helps because you know it just gives you more op opportunity to hook a fish. Then I do the half hitch around the top of the pilchard like so. So I have my bottom bait on a relatively short leader. I'm using a snapper sinker and then I've got a another hook up the top here and I'm going to I've got a squid candle off a small squid that I caught. I'm actually going to um, just just going to thread this squid ca candle on put it through a few times. I don't have a huge hook on here but I think this could be quite delectable to a few fish. What I'm going to do, yeah, I might actually put a little bit more on. I didn't cut it before I put the bait on because I didn't know how long a piece I would need. And then I'm going to put a half hitch around the top of this as well to hold that bit of squid in place. Got lots of barb exposed and I think, I wonder if I can break that with my fingers. Yeah, I can. So I've just chopped that bit of squid off and that's my, really looks like a great squid bait. So I'm going to walk out towards the edge, but I've got to keep my eye on the waves. I've, been, I've already had a good look at it, so I'm aware of the conditions. And then I'm going to cast my line out and walk back away from the water a bit, because I don't really want to get wet. I don't mind my feet up to my knees getting a little bit wet. So now I'm going to walk out on this rock shelf, toss it out, and then I'll be taking a few paces back if I see a really big wave coming, I'll just, I'll be able to see that well in advance so I can just walk backwards a little bit. I already know that the waves only come over this rock about a foot high and the tide's going out as well. Excellent. Not much weed in the water, which is good. Just watching these waves. Okay, I don't actually have to cast out all that far. See, I'm just watching this wave come in now. That's not a big wave. We'll just see how much water comes over here. See, the thing is with this spot, any waves that break on here, they're not big, and they're just gonna, if anything happens, you'd end up, you might get washed back a bit, but that's not likely. Not when you're wearing nice sharp spikes on your shoe. So I've walked over near the edge. I'm going to pelt this out. Yeah, that's a pretty good cast. Then I'm going to walk away from the edge where I'm a little bit more comfortable. No need to stand right next to the water. I'm just hoping that there's not much weed on the bottom out there uh, as a result of 
the big swell. Although typically this place, after a big swell, if there's weed, it all gets washed up onto the rocks. And there's no weed on the rocks, which means, and I can also tell by the color of the water, that it doesn't look like there's weed out there. So now, we'll see how long it takes for me to get a bite. See, while I'm standing here, I can see if any big waves are coming, they're, they're hitting the point right out the back and they take a little while before they get to me. So if I needed to move back, it would be very easy for me to do that. So while I'm fishing, I'm just relaxing. I've got my spikes on, my life jacket, and I've got a good view of what's going on. But what would be really good is if I picked up a couple of snapper out there, that would be fantastic. It's kind of the good water for that, because we've had all that turbulence. Now where I'm fishing, in this little cove here, directly in front of me is a sand bottom. Straight ahead, out further is reef, and there's reef to the right hand side. Where I cast out first was a little bit to the right, a little bit closer to some reef. I think, hang on, I'm getting a bite. Oh, that was a good bite. Didn't, didn't end up um, hooking up on that. Just gonna see if I'm gonna get another bite. Because I do have two baits. That's the luxury of having two baits. I might not have lost my bait. I might still be in the zone to get another bite. All right, I think I'm gonna pull my line in. It actually fell, so I'm gonna walk over towards the edge. There's no big waves coming. So I'm totally safe to do that. And I've just got to make sure that my sinker, etc., doesn't get stuck on these rocks when I wind it up, which I'll just bring it up with this wave. And, okay. So, I definitely had a reasonable bite then. Not a massive bite. And it's mangled my pilchard. It could have been a trevally. But, Trevally are very soft biters. I just got to grab a bit more bait. I forgot to put it in my uh, bait bucket. All right, a little bit of a wave coming, but I can get my bait out before that arrives. And I'm going to aim to cast on the sandy area. Don't have to cast all that far. And I'll just position myself back here comfortably. Keep my eye on the waves. If I hook a fish, then I'll need to watch the waves with regards to how to land it. If it's a smallish fish, smallish fish, that's not so much of an issue. If it was a big fish, I'd have to wait for a break between the waves to be able to get him in. Got one. Well, I've come to the rocks, but I can't escape those salmon. <laughs> they love a bit of squid. Anyways, um, I'm sure I'll catch another species here. <laughs> Still, we like eating these, so we're not handing him back. This guy took that squid bait that I threw out. So you get these off the rocks. There you go, I can probably use that again. Excellent. That went right in a spot that I think will be good. <laughs> it's actually quite pleasant out here. You know, there's a fair bit of turbulence around from the swell. But yeah, like I've fished in these sorts of condition, conditions hundreds of times. Uh, it's nice. 
And I like that there's some turbulence out there because it just means you, you just have that possibility of getting a really nice fish. So hopefully that's what happens. Just would like to see some snap, snapper sniffing around in this spot. I've had a bite every cast. Yeah, I'm on. Yep, got him. Maybe it's another salmon. Just once again, I'm going to be watching these waves. I'm walking over near the edge, just so that I can lift this fish, whatever it is. Ah, oh, it's not a salmon. <laughs> yeah! Fantastic, what have I got? What have I got? I gave him, it's a lovely brim actually. I'm just gonna watch the waves behind me. Okay, so I've got a brim that time. Got a nice brim on, um, he took the pilchard. So I've actually, actually the stinger hooks got him as well. Okay, get that out of there. So I've actually had a bite pretty quickly. I've only had three casts, I think. I've got two fish. Oh, get out of there. I'll take him back and deal with him. I got him. Okay, just gotta watch these waves. I'm going to bring this guy in quickly, I don't want to muck around. I'm, I'm not mucking around bringing these fish in on the edge, because I'm watching the waves and I just want to get them in quick. It's just a little bit safer that way. Well, <clears throat> this time it's a trevally. Not a very big trevally, but it's a different species. So far, so far I've had brim, um, brim trevally, and s salmon. So this guy's too small. I'm going to let him go. I'm on again. Wow, this is like action aplenty. Fish number five, salmon number three in about 25 minutes, or probably less. I barely get, I barely get time to actually wind my reel over and I just get slammed straight away. He swallowed the hook, I think. Just watching where I'm going when I walk backwards because there's a couple of little cracks in the rock. So I'm always aware of where I'm standing. They're only tiny little cracks, but you could wrong foot yourself on them.
Now, if I get a snapper bite, that'll be a hard bite. They hit it hard. I'm getting some nibbles just now, but I feel like trevally nibbles. Actually, um, I, I wouldn't mind catching an eating size trevally. Come on, you. Yeah, I think I've got him. Yep. What is this fish? Okay. I'm going to bring it in quick because it's not massive. So I'm just going to bring it in quickly. It's just a, a slightly bigger trevally. So this guy's actually big enough to keep. Uh -huh. <laughs> that went up my leg. So he's a little bit fatter. He's a bit bigger, so he'll be big enough to keep. I could, I could tell they were trevally bites because they're just really kind of soft machine gun type bites. I'm just waiting a couple of minutes before I cast out because there's just a little bit of a set of waves coming through. So I prefer to wait till they come and break. They're not going to do much damage, but I prefer to wait for that break in between the waves before I cast out. See, watch this guy hit, the, hit this shelf. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. So I think I'm okay to go back out there again now. The sun is starting to disappear, so... Starting to disappear behind the hill. Alrighty, here we go. Nice. That's where I want to be. Come on, Mr. Snapper. That's what I'd like to see. Hang on, getting bites already. No, I missed him. That was a more solid hit, like a small snapper, actually. Darn it, I missed him. I always like to stand with one leg in the water when a wave comes or washes past. Just less resistance. All right, so I had a bite. Do I have any bait left? I think I'd still have squid on. But the pilchard might be gone. Oh. I just lost everything. That was very interesting. Something picked it up, was swimming towards me. Could have been a shark, but I've lost everything. So I'm gonna just do a very quick re-rig, just with a single hook and cast another bait out. So I've just done a quick re-rig with a single hook because I'm pretty sure that was a shark that just bit me off, really cleanly bitten off. So hopefully I don't hook another shark and get bitten off again, but there's certainly lots of fish out there. Okay, Mr. Fishy. I've had a couple of little nibbles. That's not what I'm looking for. Hang on. Yep, I got him. Good, there's a break between the waves so I can come nice and close. So what have I got this time? Is it another salmon? Yeah, I think it is. Not very big.
This is another salmon. It's a bit of a baby one. Oh, not massive. Maybe 35 centimeters long. Well, that's four salmon so far. Oh, <laughs> missed it. I got a bite straight away as soon as it hit the water. So, um, had three species so far with the salmon, trevally and brim. I'm just hoping for a snapper because the conditions look good for a snapper. And it's totally the sort of spot you'll get one. and getting a lot of bites really quickly as soon as it hits the water yep got up. have I got him? yep I do just got to watch these waves on my right hand side yeah everything's okay so I can walk right down here so I want to get him straight up. So it's another salmon, but we've run out of Thai fish cakes. We really like them. They don't last very long in our house. So I'm keeping them because I don't have any salmon left at home. There you go, the stinger. I'm really glad that I use stingers. They really work. There's obviously a big skill of salmon out there. I want to get my bait out because it's, you know, it's a good chance of catching other things. Well, it is a snapper, but not big enough. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, not big enough to eat. He got off, but it was another salmon. 
So um, I hope you've enjoyed this session. It's so much action. Bites, I barely hit the water and I get smashed every time. So if you've enjoyed this, if you've learned anything, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.